just industrial park dumpster diving time. Toxic waste. Some drywall. See some steel bars over there. Today. The rack is broken. Rack number three bit the dust. I'm not buying any more of those clamp on racks, those cheapos. I'm going to actually invest the 50 bucks and get a proper bolt on rack for this thing. I actually ordered a new one, uh, a new clamp on one off of eBay the day that this one, the old one broke. But I've decided I'm just gonna return it when it gets here. I'm not even gonna open it. I'm just gonna send it right back and put my money towards that truck rack. It's actually a Bontrager rack, same thing. But it's made to fit disc brake bikes like this one. It's actually rated for less weight than the ones that I've been buying, but I have a hunch that the the regulations for weight ratings in China is probably a little bit different than the rating system that Trek uses. So it's quite possible that the Trek one is actually more durable. It certainly looks more durable. It's a nice milk crate in there, a couple of totes. Um, looks like a case with a chain, maybe a chainsaw in it. So I'm going to get in there and have a look around. Move my bike out of the way of the store. Probably not going to be putting a chainsaw in my backpack. Let's have a look in here. Might be some wire or something. Oh. Uh, a little brass nugget in here. That's nice. And broken milk crate. There is some wire in here. A piece of wire. And I see a power strip in there. What is this? Jump start system. Probably a big motor in there. Copper 
brass piece there. A rusty old pipe wrench. Um, some measuring tape, rusty measuring tape. Gonna pass on that. gas can there. That's interesting in here. A clamp. Coca-Cola storage tray thingy. It's kind of nice. Smashed it open. That's a weird connector. Rigid. It's a pretty good brand. These are Phillips screws. There's a big. Is there a big battery in here. There is a little battery. Huh, got a heavy backpack <laughs> all of a sudden. This might be a kind of a short session, guys. I guess I could stash uh, some things back at the band practice space. Nice little battery score, though. It's nice thick copper wire there. I get my wrench out and get those those are brass or copper connector deals there. Try to save those. Let's just get them started. They'll come 
off by hand. Chunk of wire off of there, brass bit, oh, spider there. It's like black widow, brown widow, black widow. I think it's got the little violin thing on there. If the camera can see that, right there. Um, no, actually, I don't see any markings on that. Is that called the abdomen? another little transformer in there I could get out in just a time I'm just gonna move on clean up my mess a little coca-cola coca tray is cool but not really able to grab it right now without my rack those aren't super valuable but they're nice to store stuff in it's like pretty heavy-duty solid plastic bits that I'm not going to be able to pick up. Grand scheme of things, I'm not too worried about it. I'll take the gloves off to get these little bits. That backpack's going to be real heavy with that battery in it for a five mile ride. But we'll see. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> Let's check these other dumpsters. Oh, I got a few wires to cut off of this. And that's about it. Wires. A circuit board if I want it. The rack and the tote definitely makes this job a lot easier. Um, but the backpack's kind of a bummer. started I just had a little uh, milk crate on a rack real cheap rack that I got at Walmart but that doesn't hold very much piece in there. Let's get in and grab that real quick. Oh. That's aluminum. More of those. 
Aluminum there. Sketchy dismount, very sketchy. Is it a metal? Yeah. Really? They would. These are wood. Oh, they're stone actually. They're stone with like some kind of paint or coating over them. Interesting. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but you can see the crystals of this, the rock that they used. of extruded aluminum it's got some good weight to it actually pretty strong too so the aluminum bend into shape really easily the stuff's putting up a little bit of a fight Good quality metal. Oh yeah, pack's getting heavy. Oh boy. I don't know how much that battery weighs, but I feel like I got at least 20 pounds going here. Not more. thing I like about riding the bike without the rack and the tote is it feels so light. you ever see me skip dumpsters on these videos it's generally uh generally three reasons i would do that one it's a medical facility of some kind two it's a restaurant of some kind and three it's like basically a dead dumpster it's like a dumpster that i've checked like a hundred times and never found anything in or it'll just be full of the same thing all the time like there's a dumpster down that way that's full of uh, pres used prescription pill bottles all the time. And they go, to, they're in a landfill dumpster. That dumpster is usually like half full to like completely full. 
uh, every time I look in there, uh, full of pill bottles. <laughs> so that's probably like a medical related deal over there. Maybe like one of the hospitals, like pharmacies, centers or something, labs or something. I don't know, can't explain that one. I actually looked into selling those on eBay. You can sell them in bulk, but it's the kind of thing where it's makes so little money on it it's pretty much like not worth dealing with if, if there's something better you can do with your time and i generally have better quality things that i can list than that but if i was just starting out or whatever and needed stuff to list i'd probably do that go there every week and grab like 20 30 40 pill bottles or something sell them in lots of 10 you make four or five bucks on each lot or something. It's a start. You do that every week. Something to pad your numbers out a little bit. Well, I'm glad the temperature is kind of on the low side, low side today. I'm getting a workout carrying this battery around. All right, check these ones on the left. This one I checked a few days ago. There's nothing in it. There hasn't been anything in that one for quite a long, quite a long time. And I don't think there's any occupants of that building right now. This doesn't mean there couldn't be wire or something in there from somebody remodeling or something, but I'm gonna skip it today. I'll probably check it next time I come back through here. Sorry, I'm going kind of slow. This is uh, pack slowing me down. I know the videos, for me, are a lot more fun to watch the faster I go. Just crawling along, this is kind of boring. Check out the Ryder dumpster and the alarm company telephone dumpster. I'm only about four miles ish away. Got a TV in there. Probably works. But I'm just going to take the cord for now. Stands real broken on it, but got that cord and I got it feels like a hundred pounds of scrap metal strapped to my back. This is a workout. This is a workout. I've also not eaten for like 17, 18 hours. This is the longest fast I've done since I started doing this. Cool little plane up there. Okay, that's weird. Bunch of gravel, asphalt. No wire in there. Sometimes there's good stuff in here. This is an HVAC place. They definitely recycle all their steel, but I do sometimes find copper wire and copper pipe in here. Uh, 
it's just emptied. It's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching.